Hey, welcome back to Triple R. We're going to take a look at the Marvel card game, I believe it's from 1977. So I had this when I was a little kid. I love the art on this. Um, so we'll go over it, check it out. Hopefully this is a complete set. kind of goes for quite a bit of money on eBay sometimes. I think I got this for probably under 40 and I believe I, I picked up two of them, but let's check it out. All right, here we have the game. The box is pretty bad condition, um, aesthetic wise. I mean, it's together, but it's like stuff all over it from age, I guess. You know, Milton Bradley, 39 jumbo cards. You can see like how the box is kind of eh. Instructions, which is nice, definitely aged. <laughs> You can see the, the yellowing on the uh, instructions. Kind of for dominoes for some reason. I really like the cards, especially when I was a kid. So actually, every time I think of superheroes, this is the art that comes to mind of like whatever superhero that is in the set. So let me see. Let me see if I can stay. So unfortunately, they're not matched up, but. Got the Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, so 1978, 1977, 1978, Mr. Fantastic, we'll put that over there for a reason, the thing, focus here a little bit better. Human Torch, Visible Woman, Sue Richards, Captain America. At the time, I wasn't a huge fan when I was a kid of Captain America. I liked him. Um, oddly, the reason I didn't like Captain America that much, <clears throat> Hawkeye had the same thing with these boots. I never cared for these fold over boots. Iron Man, he's definitely more famous these days. Thor. Captain Marvel. Really, the, the death of Captain Marvel really got me into comics. So that graphic novel, The Death of Captain Marvel, is a very good read. Doctor Strange. Daredevil. And this was one of my favorite cards as a kid. The art, the Black Panther. That was a very cool looking character i mean it's just bare bones it's a dark blue but it looks very cool to me i like the lines on the gloves falcon silver surfer got the ghost rider nice and hawkeye again with those boots I also like the Vision, thought he was a cool looking character on this card. I mean, I like most of the people on here, but I thought the Vision was cool. Scarlet Witch, it's definitely more famous these days. And the other Spider-Man card. And of course, my least favorite card, Mr. Fantastic, because this guy sucks. So, one of those cards, and then of course, the man himself, Dr. Doom. Of course, he's a little bit. So these cards are definitely have aged. There's the back of them. They're awesome, awesome size, especially for a kid with the bright colors and the size of the, the heroes. This is definitely when I think of any any hero that's in this set. Is this is the art that comes to mind? So as soon as like someone would say, you know, human thing, Human Torch, Doom, Spider Man, maybe not Ghost Rider at the time so much. And I didn't really read Silver Surfer being uh, really young. I didn't know Falcon. 
I thought this was a really cool card. Didn't care for that. That art that much. At least flying. Did like Captain Marvel. Iron Man, Cap. Classic Spider Man. We'll put Mr. Fantastic on the bottom where he belongs. We'll put Doom on top where he belongs. There you have it. All right. All right, directions. It's going to bring this out so I can read it easier so that on the camera. Directions for a superhero card game. Object, to match and discard all your cards, don't get caught by Dr. Doom. Contents, 39 cards, 19 pairs of superheroes, and one Dr. Doom. How to play. Choose one player to be the dealer. The dealer mixes up the cards and deals them out. Starting with a player to the left of the dealer, cards are dealt one at a time, face down, in a clockwise direction. Look at your cards. Check to see if you have any match matching cards. Matching cards are cards which have the same number and character on them. Example, the two number three cards match because they both sh show Mr. Fantastic. Discard any match cards face up in a pile. The match cards are out of the game. Keep unmatched cards in your hand. Starting with a player to the left of the dealer, each player in turn picks one card from the player on his right. When another player picks a card from your hand, Hold your cards up with the backs facing the other player. When you pick a card from another player's hand and it matches one of your cards, place the two matching cards face up in the discard pile. If you are the first player to match and discard all your cards, then you win. The other players continue the game. As the rest of players match all their cards, they are eliminated from the play. The game continues until one player is left. End of game, the player who is left holding Dr. Doom is a loser and the game is over.